My dad won eight batting titles and seven Silver Slugger awards. And five gold gloves. But this documentary isn't about baseball. No, it is about far more than baseball. When you think of one of the greatest athletes here in San Diego, you always think of Tony Gwynn. And there's a new documentary going beyond his Hall of Fame career. So now we want to welcome his wife, executive producer of Hall of Family, Alicia Gwynn. It is an honor to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Nana. So Hall of Family, I mean, to see a side of Tony Gwynn that most of us never knew, right? I mean, is that kind of the purpose behind yeah, this? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, he was a very private guy mm -hmm. and so the fans and everybody will get to see uh, the personal side of uh, yeah. coming from some of our family members and some friends so they'll uh, will reveal some things that you know was personal to yeah. him inside the family and uh, in one of the clips I heard him being asked you know what is great about being Tony Gwynn and he said his family absolutely so we moved as a unit mm -hmm. uh, we worked as a unit so we did everything together so he said don't I don't want to be known just as a baseball player he said I want to be known as a good husband been a good father he said that I was good to my fans my fans are my extended family and he said don't let the people forget about me I love that mm -hmm. and of course none of us will ever forget <laughs> about him and your family I mean you your kids have done incredible work here for San Diego and beyond and to see you know this message being shared in this documentary I think is really special uh, and it, I did notice one of the clips too in the trailer the love story between you two started in junior high, in junior high. tell us about that <laughs> so we've known each other for uh, since we elementary school and so that I met Tony because I was such a tomboy and I wanted to play <laughs> okay. uh, and the kickball and the boys wouldn't let me he told them to let me play and, you know we've been <laughs> friends ever since you know but that that's our story you know we grew up together we went to elementary through college together and so that's how oh. the story is wow. you know? and we've always been good friends so mm -hmm. it started off with kickball he let you play kickball <laughs> I love that. And that is such a sweet story to know that you've known him for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, even for all of San Diego, we still grieve the loss of Tony Gwynn. I mean, this was a long time ago, 2014, but, you know, we miss him. He did so much for this community, for the Padres, of course. But you knew him way beyond in a different way than any of us. If you could share a little bit about that, maybe things about Tony that none of us were able to know. You know, Tony was always a person that was very considerate. Uh, he always put people before he uh, put himself. You know, I learned so much from him. You know, money wasn't uh, something, you know, playing baseball, you know, he wasn't about the money. He was about the passion. He was about the people. He loved this city, you know, and he never wanted to leave this city. And, you know, that was a great thing about him. And we were just such great friends before we were married, and we continued to be friends. And, you know, he uh, would always say, you know what, we let's be friends forever. And, Aww. you know, that's how it worked yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for you to obviously have gone through losing Tony, it's a pain like none of us would know, too. What has helped you over the years? You know, I think remembering the good times that I had with him and appreciating. Now, don't get me wrong, because the greatest thing about living by myself is I can scream out sometimes. Oh. And sometimes I, I have those moments, you know, because I really, really miss him. You know, there's not a day that go by that I don't, you know, miss my husband. But, you know, uh, I cope. I could hear his voice. I could feel his spirit. Come on, Leash, you could do this. And oh. so that's what gets me through the day, you know, and I get out and walk every 430 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it clears my mind. It just helps me, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and I, I just, I'm so appreciative of the time that I did get right. to spend with him. Oh, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know to have loved, uh, obviously, it's also the pain that comes along with losing somebody. Absolutely. Uh, but you two had a love that was amazing mm -hmm. that started so young, which is such a beautiful thing. So yeah. many people not fortunate to have that. So, yeah. you know, um, I do want to mention the event tomorrow uh, at Petco Park. Tell us about that. Who's invited? What's going to be going uh, on? Everyone is invited. You could go on info especially for the military family we're okay. letting them come free uh, at 10 o'clock they'll be able to go on the info at uh Hall of Fame movie.com to be able to per uh, get tickets, you know, and we serve the underserved, our sponsors, uh, 
have really helped stepped up Becky Morris, JMI, uh, L. Smith Brewery, uh, Cal Private Bank, and, and so King, uh, Attorney King. So these people have allowed some of the underserved in the military to be go on free. So it'll be okay. September the 8th, tomorrow yeah. at 5.30, there will be a Q&A with me, my daughter, and my son, and then everything, the show begins. I love course. it. <laughs> uh, your son, Tony Gwynn Jr., has been on our show quite a few times <laughs> to talk about Padres highlights. We love having him on. Uh, and your daughter, too, what has she been up to? She's part of this documentary, right? Yeah, she narrated the documentary. Love She's it. still singing, and, you know, she has a little uh, Gwynn Sellers wine company that nice. she's into, so she's doing her thing, too. Mm -hmm. A beautiful family mm -hmm. that you. we're honored to say a San Diego zone. Thank you. <laughs> so yes, thank you. And I hope it goes well tomorrow. I'm sure it will. Uh, a lot of people will be showing up for the Hall of Family documentaries, the name. So make sure you're there at Gallagher Square. Get square. Get tickets in advance. Uh, it'll all start at 6 p.m. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for Good having me. Good to see me. you. <laughs>